Hello everyone, thank you for joining us. Our article for this week is focused on the Finance Act 2021, which introduced some landmark provisions and in most instances consolidated, clarified and modified some existing provisions. We have reviewed the salient tax provisions and discussed the potential implication for indigenous and non-resident companies. One of such amendments is the increase in the tertiary education tax rate from 2% to 2.5% of accessible profits. Another is the introduction of excise CT of 10 naira per liter on non-alcoholic, carbonated and sweetened beverages. The FA 2021 has also deemed capital allowance of small and medium companies as utilized. FIRS is now to assess non-resident companies to tax on 6% of turnover. Educational institutions are liable to income tax now. The FA 2021 has withdrawn the exemption of educational institutions of property character. The implication of this is that all educational institutions, including those of public character, will now be required to pay income taxes. The FA 2021 has amended the CGT Act to now subject proceeds from disposal of shares in any Nigerian company where the proceed is above 10 million naira in any 12 consecutive months to so CGT at 10%. It, however, exempts any portion of the proceed that is reinvested in shares of the same or other Nigerian companies within the same year of assessment. The Finance Act 2021 has also amended the National Agency for Science and Engineering Infrastructure Act, NACEN. NACEN has been amended to assess companies operating in certain sectors and the turnover of 100 million and above to 0.25% of profit before tax. The Finance Act 2021 has now clarified that the Federal Inland Revenue Service is a relevant authority to access collect, account for, and enforce payment of the Nigerian Police Trust Fund levy. On VAT obligation for non-resident companies, Section 10 of the Value Added Tax Act has been amended to now require NRCs that make taxable supplies of goods or services to Nigeria to register for VAT with the FIRS and include tax on their invoice. The NRC can also be appointed by the FIRS to collect tax. To read more on this article, please visit our website and subscribe using the button below. Thank you.